Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Mrs. Green, an art teacher from Kansas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi, my name is Mrs. Green. I'm a kindergarten through sixth grade teacher in Kansas and today we are going to be creating a mandala. The materials you will need for this project are a square piece of paper. The piece of paper I'm going to be using is 8 inches by 8 inches. However, you can use whatever size piece of paper you would like. You just need it to be a square. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, a compass, a ruler, a black marker, and colored pencils. Let's get started. The first thing you will need is a pencil and a ruler. We are gonna get started dividing our piece of paper in half. So near the top of my piece of paper, I'm gonna make a dot that is in the middle of my piece of paper. So since my piece of paper is eight inches wide, I'm gonna make a little dot at four because four is half of eight. I'm gonna do the exact same thing near the bottom of my piece of paper. I'm gonna measure over four inches and place another dot. Then I'm gonna use my ruler and I am gonna line up where those dots are and I'm gonna make a vertical line that goes all the way from the top of my piece of paper all the way to the bottom. So I'll end up with a piece of paper that is separated in half. Now I'm gonna rotate my piece of paper and do the exact same thing over again. I'm gonna measure over four inches because that's half of eight and I'm using an eight by eight inch square piece of paper. And then I am gonna make that vertical line that separates my piece of paper in half. If at any point I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video to catch up. I now have four squares. Now I need to create eight pie slices. So I am going to create some diagonal lines. It's really important that all my lines intersect here at the middle of my piece of paper. So I'm gonna line up my ruler with that point in the corner of my piece of paper and I'm gonna make a diagonal line. I'm gonna do that in each of the boxes. I like to draw these lightly because later when I draw my mandala, I may or may not want these to be part of my design. So if I do not want them to be part of my design, I can use an eraser later and erase the lines that I do not want. All right, all my lines meet up here in the middle, which is perfect. Now I'm going to be using a compass to create some circles. If you do not have a compass at home, you could use different sized circular objects that you find around your house, or you can use a string and some pencils. I'm going to use the compass that we use at my school. For this compass, my paper likes to move around a lot when I'm using it, so I'm going to actually tape down my piece of paper here. It's important that I line up my compass here where all those points intersect at the middle of my piece of paper. I'm gonna put one of my pencils here. And then now I'm gonna put my pencil, other pencil, in these little holes that go along the edge of my compass here. And I'm gonna make some different sized circles. For a piece of paper this size, I'm probably gonna only make three to five circles. If I was using a larger piece of paper, I would probably make more circles. So there's two circles. Three and four. Now I'm ready to get started drawing my mandala. I'm going to take off that tape. Now it's really important when we're making our mandala that our mandalas are symmetrical. We want what to we want what happens on one side of our mandala to happen on the other side of our mandala as well. So if we were to divide it in half, it's the same on both sides. So when I'm drawing, whatever I draw in one pie slice, I'm gonna repeat in each of the pie slices. The first thing that I'm gonna draw is I think I'm gonna make a little V shape. I'm gonna make a V that comes in to the middle here and then comes back out. Comes in towards the middle and then comes back out. I like to rotate my piece of paper as I'm drawing, so that way I'm just drawing the same line over and over again. It helps me make sure that what I'm drawing stays the same in each pie slice. Now I think what I want to draw is I'm going to make some half circles. I'm going to make a rainbow line that connects the tip of each one of those triangles to one another. Thank you. 
rotating my paper and drawing the same thing in each and every pie slice. I think I'm gonna do one more set of triangles. I'm gonna go from the tip of each one of these rainbow lines to uh, that point right there in each one of them. Rotating my piece of paper. I also like to start simple and then sometimes I go back in and add more details. For example, in the mandala that you see here, you can see areas where I added the stripes. Originally those were just an open area and I decided it needed a little bit of something extra. So I added those stripes in there and I added the stripes in around the, in those areas as well. The same thing with those double petals. Originally it was just one petal, but I felt like it needed a little something extra. So all we've drawn so far are diagonal lines and rainbow lines. And you can already see that our mandala is starting to take shape. I think I also want to make a little circle in each one of these areas. To save time, I'm not going to finish doing the second half of my mandala. I would go back in and do that later. I think I also want to create some petal shapes. I'm going to make a long petal shape. I think I want to repeat that same petal shape on the outer edge, but instead of doing just one petal, I'm going to make two. So there's about the middle of that, and I'm going to make a petal shape that comes up and down. Repeat that along that outer edge. I really like creating the mandalas because even though I've made several of them, every time they turn out different from one another. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how you would do the outlining, but I would finish drawing the mandala. You can see what my finished one looks like right here. Next, I like to take a black marker and trace over the parts of my mandala that I want to show. So some of these guidelines I might want to keep and some of them I might want to erase later. So for this one here, I don't think I want that line that cuts through that petal shape. So I'm not gonna trace that guideline there. I also don't think that I want to have those lines that run through here in that shape. So I'm not going to trace over that line. I'm only gonna trace over the lines that I want to be part of my design. After I'm all done tracing, I can take an eraser and I can erase over my entire mandala to get rid of those lines that I don't want. When I'm tracing, I want to make sure that I take my time. I want to make sure that I'm doing as nice and neat of a job as I was doing when I was drawing my mandala. Sometimes I do an even neater job when I'm tracing because I know that I can't erase the marker. After I'm all finished tracing my mandala uh, and erasing my mandala, I'm ready to color it. That's when I think it gets to be really fun because you can work on having those different areas where you have different values where you can color some areas in darker you can color in some areas lighter you can have some areas transition from dark to light or from one color into another area into another color I really look forward and hope you enjoyed this lesson I am excited to see what you guys have created and I hope you really enjoyed this lesson thank you